So I'll get started and create a new Flutter project. We would be following along the documentation and set up Firebase for our Android app. Uh, as already mentioned, I would follow along the doc documentation because even if there is some update later on, you'll know what to change and how to set up Firebase. So I'll get started by creating a new Flutter project. Give it a name. I'll give it Flutter Fire for now. So I'll give it a package name. Uh, we'll go go with the com dot dot Flutter Fire, and I'll let it finish the project. Once we are done, it should open up uh, with the default code. Now what we'll do is we'll set up our Firebase console for this project. I'll go over to firebase.google.com and here go to cons console create a new flutter project so i'll give this the same name as my app flutter fire and i'll also include analytics so i'll just create this project while this finishes up let me just go over to flutter fire documentation which we would be referring for this whole tutorial and flutter fire has everything you need regarding all services we have the android installation the ios installation uh, i would only be doing android installation with my windows uh, you can do the ios as well and then we have the cloud fire store and everything available here our project is ready and i'll go ahead and add the android app to it so again we are required to uh, put in our package name so if you don't remember your package name it should show up inside your project in android go over to app folder and inside build.gradle so the package name is mentioned against application id so you can copy your package name here com.adithyadhaku.flutterfire and paste it here so you can give it a name i'll give it flutterfire this is optional although it helps you uh, identify your app if you are using multiple apps and also the debug signing certificate SHA-1 is also optional because it's required for Google sign-in and authentication. I'll show you how to do it when we uh, put in authentication. Right now we'll just register the app. And we'll download the JSON Google services file. So I'll go over to my downloads, cut this file from here and you have to paste it inside this same folder, app folder. What I'll do is I'll go over to app and show in explorer. So open this folder and paste the Google services file here. So if you aren't using Android studio, you can simply go over to the path where your project is saved go to android and inside the app folder paste this json file so once we are done we can go ahead and click do next now we have to add the firebase sdk so the first addition that you have to do is to project level build gradle so go back to your project in android you will have a build gradle and we will have to add under dependencies in build script we have to add this so i'll copy the path uh, here I'll, I'll just paste it here in the dependencies next uh, all this google uh, for all projects and for build script is already added and see it here so once we are done with this we'll go over to our next which is the app level build.gradle so i'll go back to the app folder and inside there is another build.gradle and here we have to make apply these plugins uh, we these plugins are just outside so we have the com dot android application applied already we'll add this line next we have to add the dependency so inside dependencies this is at the bottom of the file so I'll just paste it here and we have to add the analytics so this is for later but if you're doing it right now you can might as you just add it right now and once we are done we have to sync or you can just simply run your project so 
once we have like added all the required files to gradle we also need to initialize flutter inside our main dot dot what we need to do is go over to our lib folder main dot dot and we will clear up some code so installation is really simple we need the firebase score plugin uh, instead of copying it from here let me go over to pub.dev to check out the latest version this is important because sometimes these aren't updated inside the documentation so i'll just go over to pub.dev and search for firebase score we have the under popularity one which is officially by firebase.google.com and i'll go over to it copy the plugin and add it to my pubspec.yaml and do a pub get this should take some time while we wait on it we'll go over to our next step which is the platform setup so initializing flutter fire what we need to do is call away dot firebase dot initialize app so what we'll do is uh, instead of doing it from there we have two options which is future builder and a stateful widget so a stateful widget you know it would use the initialize flutter app in init state and the builder would just load the application so if you're just getting started a stateful widget would be easier for you to understand what happens here is we have a function that just initializes the app and if there is an error it uh, sets state to error other uh, and this function is called in init state so when the state is initialized of the stateful widget this function runs and while it runs uh, we see a loading progress indicator when it's done it it switches to our uh, awesome app widget so this widget could be our home page right so this is easier to understand we also have a future builder so how future builder works is future builder takes in a future which is initialization which is basically uh, waiting on your firebase app to initialize and if there is an error it shows the error widget else it returns to your home app and while we wait it shows the loading screen so you can use either of these uh, i'll simply go ahead with the uh, future builder one so i'll just copy the code from here what i'll do is uh, after pubget is successfully done we'll see a new file here called generated plugin and what i'll do is i'll just remove all this code that i don't need and i'll just copy and paste the code that I got from the documentation so again it just uh, imports the code okay so we are importing the firebase core and we have the main function as it is and instead we have now a class app uh, and this has a future called which is used to initialize the app and then we have the future builder which takes in a future which is initialization and if there is an error it shows that something went wrong with it otherwise it should go over to our home page and or otherwise it should should show a circular progress indicator so i'll just return a circular progress indicator and also wrap it with the center because then it would show up on the center of my screen for this if connection state is done i will create a new home page widget so what i'll do is i'll create a new folder call it screens and inside this screens folder i'll create create a new dart file which i'll call home page right so home page is done i'll just import material here and create a stateless widget call this home page right instead of using a container i'll use a scaffold give it a app bar property and also have a body which is body could just be a text takes in hello world right and wrap this with the center 
come back to our home page and instead of returning my awesome app I'll just return home page it should import it itself or you can put in the import statement and for an error what we'll do is we can create a widget here by the names uh, or instead of returning something let's just print to console right i think we are good and right now you'll see we'll, we are getting in test error because these are made for my app but instead we have switched to app so that should correct it right so i'll just uh, i have my app running right now so what i'll do is i'll just stop it and rerun the application <coughs> if everything goes good firebase would be initialized right uh, so once we are done with this we have for android what we need to do is in android app build.gradle you can provide your own versions using the options below we can choose our own version and one more point that i wanted to point out was uh, while you're doing android installation like we had done all this uh, we hadn't used the signing report for the SHA one, but what this because this is optional while creating a new Android app. SHA one is optional. Uh, we didn't you you can use signing report by typing in CD Android and then grade LEW signing report to get the SHA one. We didn't do that because it's optional. We have done this. We have done this. What we need to do is also enable multi decks. So how to do this is if your Android app targets Android 21 or higher, index is enabled by default. However, I have set to 20. So our minimum SDK version. Uh, let's go over to Android and again app build.gradle. Minimum SDK version is set to 16. So we'll have to enable multi dex right? So we'll come back here inside android app build.gradle under dependencies first we'll have to add it to so we'll probably get an error here so i'll just stop my application right now and make these changes so i'll go over to android default config and add multidex here now i'll also need to add dependencies implementation all right i think that's everything that we need to do and we'll run our application see if it runs fine should again take some time okay so if you will run the application right now so I got this error everything was good but why we are getting this error is basically our app this run app what we can do is instead of directly running this like this we can simply wrap it so context action wrap it the widget material app right This takes in a home property so it would run like this but this would get messy because even if like okay let's just check if it runs fine but again this would get a little bit messier for you so what we'll do is right you can see that it runs fine right so material app has all these properties like theme data that you can later tap into for your application so I don't want you to leave it like this what i'll do is i'll create a stateless widget call this my app and this my app returns a all right so this returns all this okay and 
inside my run app it should run this my app okay everything good till here and this app i can call it something else like let us say root widget because this could be our root widget and i'll just replace app here with this root widget so our material app will open up to this root widget and i can also tap into other my uh, material app properties and set debug it mode banner to false they should remove this debug banner so that is why i wanted to do this because you will need uh, like other properties of material app so it would be easier for you to modify them here and you'll also have your root widget with which initializes your flutter uh, firebase so yeah once we are done with that everything should be fine right now and that's about it we have set up firebase inside our application